Didn't uh, didn't Clinton's Wikipedia just get scrubbed? Yeah, I've, like I've, literally last month. Did you see what I made about that? Yeah, yeah. So it's there's a little bit more to it, but it was so weird. To I was filming a documentary about this whole thing, and uh, then I pull up Bill Clinton's Wikipedia page because I'm trying to figure out how many times he flew on the plane or visited the island, and the entire every mention of Jeffrey Epstein is suddenly gone from his Wikipedia page. So I went to the Wayback Machine, which is like it archives websites, and you right. know this, but they might not. And so it archives the history of websites, and I start going backwards in time, and it turns out that just like a month or like last month, suddenly all like 30-something references to Jeffrey Epstein got taken off. And what actually wound up happening is I went and looked up the editor that had edited the page and what they did. Oh, you can see the editor. Yeah, so Wikipedia is interesting because you can actually track every edit that's ever been made and you can track who edited it and then you can look at what other edits they've done and it's a, it was a really mm. interesting dig. He's like, and that's where it's like, I found a super editor where every day, all day, all he's doing is editing. That's like, and it's all on these certain pages, like a bunch on Kale Starner, or however you pronounce the the. PM of the the British guy, mm. um, a bunch on like he did some on Diddy's page, and most of them are kind of like unimportant, just mm. kind of like. But the Bill Clinton one, what they did is they made a separate page called Bill Clinton's connections to Jeffrey Epstein or whatever, and they moved all of the references over onto that page. So it's like, look, we didn't delete it. Oh, they just we just moved it over. It. We separated it because it's more organized. It's better, right? Huh. But then it's like, okay, so why the fuck isn't there a link to that page right. on Bill Clinton's page? Right. Because like, let's rewind for a second. Like, let's hold the fucking phone because no one ever <laughs> stops for enough time to realize that we like stop and think. The United States of America's president from what, 1992 till 2000, that is eight years, the president of the United States of America was actively blackmailed, sexually blackmailed by a foreign nation. And their spy, Jeffrey Epstein, was visiting the White House with women like 17 times or something officially. And then he's flying to this island and probably fucking kids on camera, like Sorry, you're going to have to do a lot of censoring here. It's all good. But, but like, that's the president <laughs> for. of the United States right. of America. And he was overseeing some of the most important, like, peace talks. And, uh, like, the Oslo Accords were massively important. And that was when Jonathan, the, what? the Oslo Accords, that's like the most recent sort of like, it was when Yasser Arafat and uh, whoever was in, it might've been Bibi actually, whoever was in charge of Israel at the time, like peace talks to sort of determine the path forwards for the West Bank and Gaza and the settlements mm. and the borders. It's like, that was a critical time for their, for Israel's negotiations for what's going to happen going forwards. Mm. Um, right. That's the most famous photo, like, you know, the last 20 years in, in terms of that. Right. And Bill Clinton oversaw that. Right. I remember this. And Monica Lewinsky you got me in so much trouble with this with this one. Dude. I had my two CIA guys in here debating, and I brought up the fucking Monolith and Lewinsky conspiracy, and they were like, Jesus Christ, Danny, you've been watching too much internet. Yep. You've been spending too much time on, on X with Ian Carroll. All I'm saying is that this guy is actively blackmailed by an Israeli sexual blackmail ring. And suddenly, we have a leak that... And, and so the leak was that this... Jewish woman has this sexual relationship with him. Uh. But then it turns out that actually there were allegations. I forget the exact words. I was just because she was Jewish. I mean, she was it does not. Assad. It certainly does not. It's just a coincidence mm -hmm. that as he's like, so if imagine if you are Jeffrey Epstein, right? Your goal is to have all this information hanging over Bill Clinton's head so you can leverage him. That's mm -hmm. the whole point of a sexual blackmail operation. Mm -hmm. And so if he's doing something that you don't like, or if something important is coming up and he's not going the way you want, how do you control it? You either like, think of, think it through. You have to leak something. You have to show him that you mean business, right? Because otherwise your whole blackmail operation means nothing. If you don't actually force him to do what you want him to do when he's not going to do what you want him to do, right. you aren't blackmailing him. You, you have no, you have no power over him. And so if Bill Clinton is not going the way you want with the Oslo Accords or whatever it is, what you would see, what we would see as the public is we would see a partial release of something that is partial sexual blackmail, like the Monica Lewinsky scandal. That's exactly the kind of thing. Cause it's not a career ending thing. It's not the kind of thing that is going to like totally blow the whole presidency up, mm. but it's enough to be like, cause he knows what else they have. Right. And it turns out that there was like 30 hours of phone sex tapes that allegedly like someone had that 
did didn't get released or something with him and Monica. Yeah, exactly. And so there was so essentially there's like this woman just happens to have all this like recorded con and there's this whole scandal and Whitney Webb goes into it in her book in a really good way. But basically like then it turned out that like, oh no, maybe someone had bugged the White House like Jeffrey. And, and so it's like, wait, 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 like these things all overlap where like if Jeffrey Epstein was sexually blackmailing Bill Clinton, that's the exact kind of thing you would leak to sort of fire a warning shot over his bow. And it's not so bad that it's going to end his career. Is the is the idea that this has something to do with Pollard? Like well, he, Pollard wanted, was also Pollard. during that time. Is they were trying to pressure Bill Clinton to pardon to Jonathan pardon Pollard. Pollard, right? And he ended up not doing it. Um, but and so oh, you found something. This is the Times of Israel. Netanyahu said to have offered Lewinsky tapes for Pollard. Bingo. What is the Times of Israel? Is that a legit yeah. website? Yeah, it's it's literally a Zionist... Pro like, it's one of the best websites for me to reference. Zoom in a little bit. It's like a Zionist Jewish publication from Israel. Go up. New critical book on Clinton family claims that Israel tapped the White House phones, yeah. blackmailed the president with recordings. Okay, scroll down. Uh, Israel attempted to tape former U.S. President Bill Clinton the steamy conversations with intern Monica Lewinsky to leverage the release of Jonathan Pollard. A new book on the Clinton's family's political enterprises has claimed. In the book titled Clinton, Inc., oh, God, is the, is the author still alive? Uh, probably not. <laughs> the audacious rebuilding of a political machine. Author Daniel Halper relies on on-the-record interviews with former officials together with a close analysis of documents termed the Monica Files to paint a salacious and uncomplimentary picture of one of the most prominent political families in the U.S. Hundreds of pages of documents yeah. compiled as contingency on the use in, uh, to use in the former intern if the former intern ever was involved in legal actions against Clinton. Holy crap. Why yes. did I never hear Keep of Keep scrolling down. Like, go to the, like, the, you know why you never heard about it? I can't believe this is in the Times of Israel. Well, that's the thing. Here's the why thing. Why would this be in the Times of because Israel? Because American media is so controlled because like so we can't talk about Jeffrey Epstein we can't talk about Israel we can't talk about any of that shit but Jewish media is not because Israel is it busy bragging to their own citizens about how many you know Hamas terrorists they killed they're busy bragging to their citizens about how many Jewish politicians that we've got and how much influence they've got like the times of Israel is great at reporting how much Jewish influence is in American politics and one of my favorite articles that I've ever found on there is them bragging about Hunter Biden's new wife um it's very like on the Times of Israel. Yeah. So you can find it. It's Times of Israel, Hunter Biden, where, new, new wh wife tattoo. Where does the Times of Israel rank? Like if you were going to kind of compare it to like a U.S. Um, media um, I don't know if I'm necessarily informed enough to, to really like say for sure, but it, it would be like a Washington Post or a New York Times or an NBC, a really? CNN. Yeah. It's like a okay. mainstream journal. It's like the okay. mainstream publication over there. Very much so. It's like Haaretz, Times of Israel, Jerusalem Post. You know, okay. The, okay, the big ones. Interesting. So, Times of Israel. Uh, go back to that article, Steve. <clears throat> yeah, feel free to go back. Um, there's. I want to see the bottom of it. Because that's what I'm saying is like, it sounds like, oh, that's just like a conspiracy. You're just drawing things together. But like, no, that is exactly what we would see Ooh. if there was a blackmail operation going on. And we know and what country was running a blackmail operation. This. Copies of Halper's book were sent out in a PDF form to hundreds of reporters days before the book's official release was by a previously unknown individual in what Halper suggests was an effort to reduce the impact of the book's release. Hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, I would argue that there, or rather, there is an argument to be made. Go that, to the homepage of this website. Israel publishing this kind of, and it's not like, this is not the state of Israel. This is a journalistic publication. Right. It, these are journalists. But there's an argument to be made that bragging about how much influence Israel has over the U.S., even in that form, is positive in Israel. Like in Israel, mm -hmm. they, like most of them believe they're not using enough force on civilians in Palestine. Most of them believe that it is okay to rape Palestinian prisoners because... <sighs>